Hi, I'm Dr. David Isaacs, and I'm an oculofacial plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. Today we've got a very interesting case that I want to share with you. We're going to be doing upper eyelid blepharoplasty, lower eyelid blepharoplasty, and the lip lift in a patient who's had prior upper lip bleph and ptosis surgery because she has myasthenia gravis, she has lower eyelid fat bags protruding, and she has a very long upper lip with four prior rhinoplasties. So a really challenging case overall in many aspects. All right, so we're going to be doing your upper eyelid blepharoplasty. And, you know, you've had blepharoplasty done before, but what you want is to have, you see this extra skin here, just sort of pulled back. And that's a special procedure where I'm going to create more of a crease for you and to tighten that upper eyelid skin and pull it back. Now, for your lower eyelids, if you go ahead and turn your face this way, and you can see, go and put your chin down more. Good. And you can see the fat bulging out, right? Oh, yes. So what I'm going to do is go from the inside. I'm going to make the incision. I hit an incision. I'm going to take these lower fat bags and I'm going to rotate them into your cheek. Okay? And so that'll give you a smooth lower eyelid contour. Instead of just taking them out and throwing them away, I'm going to reposition them into the hollow to give you a smooth lower eyelid and not make you hollow. Okay? And I won't look as tired also. And you won't look as tired. For your lip. Now, go ahead and part your lips slightly. Can you see your upper teeth right now? No. No. So what I want to do is decrease, number one, this length. This is very long. It's a very long filtrum. It's called distance from your nasal base to your upper lip. And doesn't it make me look less... Um, youthful. Youthful. So right. So we want to go ahead and rejuvenate the mid face. And by shortening this distance, we can do that. So the incision will go under here. And I'm going to take out some skin. And then I'm going to do a deep plane dissection in order to lift this lip up. And I'm going to secure it to some deep tissue in there. And by doing that, I'm going to enhance this upper lip. It's going to get turned up more. I'm going to enhance the volume of this. It'll look more enhanced, more voluminous. Mm -hmm. And you'll have more tooth show, which is more sensual and youthful. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. Yay! Any questions? No. Just want to get it done. So what I'm doing here is I've taken the fat bags and I've isolated them and I'm putting them on sutures as anchors and I'm going to be rolling them down into the cheek right on top of the bone and the sutures come out of the cheek and I tied the sutures on top of the cheek so they're holding that fat pad right exactly where I want them in that hollow and so you're, you're, the bags are gone and that hollow is now refilled, there's some volume in that hollow with that fat pad. So we're using that fat pad to your benefit. You can see here I've anchored the fat pad and I've put them on two sutures, sort of like a curtain. And now I'm lifting up the lower eyelid and I'm going into that dissection pocket, that little pocket between all the tissues over your cheek and the bone. And I've already rolled it down into the cheek and, the, and you see those sutures coming out of the cheek. That's holding that fat pad in position. And now I'm tying it very gently. I use that cotton tip. It's a little trick I have. So I'm, I'm tying the sutures very gently in order to keep it there for one week. And now you can see here how smooth it is at Lower Island compared to the other side. The other side is, you know, there's this convexity, concavity, deformity. And the side that we just did, you can see the fat bags are gone. That hollow area is gone and everything is much smoother. What we're doing here is I've done the lip lift dissection and I'm doing a deep plane dissection of the lip lift in order to allow that skin and tissue of the remaining upper lip to come up to give that nice roll to the lip. The goal is, is so that we can anchor that tissue to the, this area of the nose in order to not allow the, the, um, the nose and nostrils to change. So follow me here. What you see here is me tugging on the lower lip and on the upper lip, I'm sorry. I'm passing a suture into the deep tissues near the nose. I'm about to do that right now. And what we're gonna then do is we're gonna tie that and watch the nostril. Just go ahead and watch. You're gonna, it's not gonna move, it's amazing. And I've taken out a significant amount of tissue on this patient. Okay, so here we go. Now we're tying that suture really nicely. Watch, it doesn't move. The nose did not move. And this is a patient after four rhinoplasties, of which I did the last one. She's super happy after the last one that I did. I, it was a long reconstruction, totally different story. Um, 
but you can see here now that I've tied the sutures and the nostril has not moved an inch, a centimeter, it hasn't moved at all, a few millimeters at all, nothing. So now we're tying everything else and we can see that upper lip come up. She did great, guys. She looks beautiful. And there are your lower lip fat repositioning, fantastic. You've got a couple of little tapes on that'll keep the swelling down. And your lip lift, I mean, looks beautiful. You're gonna have a nice cupid's bow now. And you're gonna have a lot more upper lip enhancement, a shorter fill trim, so it's gonna be beautiful. Any questions for me? Nope. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Just you rest much. tonight. No, don't talk a lot. Put some ice on the eyes. Take the antibiotics. I gave you the pain medicine. And uh, come if you have any questions. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, you're welcome. Hey guys, so we're five days out from surgery and she's doing great. We did the uppers, the lowers, and the lip lift. We're gonna t leave the tape on and the stitches. We'll take those out in a couple days. We're gonna take out the stitches of the lip lift today. You can already see the lip has been elevated. Mm. Open them slightly for me. You can see already the tooth show, beautiful very sensual, and she's having great results so far. So she's been following the directions wonderfully, and we'll see her in a couple days, and then you guys will catch up with her in about a month when everything's really sort of settling in well. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you wanna see more, please subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you in the next video.